to our cooking vlog that we've got going. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. So this week we're just going to make two simple pasta dishes. We're going to make a carbonara and a simple sausage and tomato pasta. So we'll start with the sausage and tomato one because that will take the longest. Um, basically, some sausages of your choice, whichever you fancy. I've just got some pork chipolata sausages here. That's the, the kids' favourite really. They're not into these flavoured ones that you can get you know, with a bit of apple in and all that sort of stuff. They're not really into them. So, first things first. Just chop them up into little pieces like that. And each sausage into maybe five or six. Just a little bit of oil, stop them sticking. So next to go in with these in the sausages, I'm just going to put in uh, half an onion. Just really finely diced onion. So half an onion in that goes. And then <coughs> some garlic. Again with your garlic, that just looks uh, chopping it really fine and I'm just going to put the one in this. sausages cook away for a little while. The next thing to go in there when they are cooked will be a tin of chopped tomatoes, a squirt of tomato puree and I'm going to put in a, uh, a beef stock just to give it a bit more flavour. Right so that's the sausages and the onions all cooked through. Basically now, the tin of tomatoes, and that goes. My uh, beef stock. And a bit of a squirt of tomato puree. Okay, let's turn that right down. Okay, so that's the sausage and tomato one done. All you need in there now is just possibly half a teaspoon of sugar, just to take the bitterness off the tomato. Through. Okay, and then a nice handful of uh, Spinach leaves, just leave them in it, and the heat from the, the sauce will cook them through anyway. And once the pasta's put in it as well, that'll cook that through. So that's that done. Put that to the side. Right, and then before I start to cook the carbonara, what I'm going to do is put I've got two pans of boiling water there. So put some pasta in one of them. It on. And then some uh, spaghetti in this one. Because by the time this is cooked, the sauce and everything will be all ready for, for uh, yeah, for once the pasta's cooked. So spaghetti. Done. Right. Okay, on to the carbonara. Dead simple. A couple of cloves of garlic. Right, so that's my garlic nicely chopped up nice and fine. A bit of oil in the bottom, good pan. Turn it on. I'm just going to gently fry that for just a couple of minutes just to cook it through. You want it on, uh, you don't want to be browning the garlic or anything, just want it nice and 
cooking slowly. Why it's such a great big pan? Because basically what you just put your sauce in here, spaghetti out of the pan, into there, that's it done. Okay, so the garlic's had a few minutes cooking away. All you do, turn the heat off. Now, a tub of cream. Three eggs. And some of that cheese that stinks like sweaty feet. You can use parmesan or this stuff, it's parmigiano raggiano or something like that. I can't even say it, but it stinks. But it's such a lovely flavour. So with your cheese, you just need to grate it, not on the chunky one, on the, on the really fine one. I'm probably going to use about half a block uh, in this little recipe. If it's not strong enough, you can always add a little bit more if you like it really strong tasting. Pasta's getting a little bit excited. Okay, that's that. Okay, so in here we've got the eggs, the cream, the garlic and the cheese. That's all whisked up. Uh, some people like to use bacon lardons or just smoky bacon and chop it up and fry it off before your garlic. That would already be in there. I just like to use, well the kids prefer this really, it's just some ready cooked ham. Um, so I'll just get a big chunk of that. I got this from uh, Aldi, it's quite cheap actually, it's only £1.85 for 400 grams, which isn't so bad at all, I can think. Sometimes you get some really big chunky bits in it, and other times it's quite just well sliced, so... Okay, so right, we are ready to finish the both pasta dishes off. The, let me just check my spaghetti, see if that's cooked. Yep, yeah, right, spaghetti is ready. So all you basically do is, your pan of sauce, your pan of spaghetti, out the boiling water, into your sauce and that's it. Cooking doesn't get any simpler than this does it really? Unless you're doing beans on toast but that's it. You're going to mix up. The heat from the spaghetti and everything will all cook your eggs and uh, warm everything through so don't worry about that. That's it, done. So now drain the other pasta. Right, so that's, once we've mixed all that up, that's it, we're done. Two simple dishes in probably, we could knock up in 15 minutes. Um, and that's it, so I'll now just plate it up for you and show you what it should look like. Okay, so, just time to dish it up now and show you what your lovely tea and dish should look like. There we go. So, there's the carbonara. is the sausage and tomato pasta. And then just to finish off, just a bit more of the, of the cheese on the top.
Voilà. Measure tomato, sausage one. Measure carbonara. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoy making them. I enjoy eating them. Um, it's time for me now to call in all the troops and get their tea. Okay, thanks for watching again and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.